Hello and welcome to the tutorial on skip counting in sixes. In this tutorial we will count in sixes with numbers up to 200. So let's have a look at our first example. Suppose we have this number 126. Now the question is what number comes after 126 if we are counting in sixes? Now again, there are many different ways you can do this. We're going to look at two methods. The first one is the dot method. We're counting in sixes, so I'm going to put six dots here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're counting in sixes, six dots. Our starting point is 126. Let's start counting. 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, and 132. So the number after 126 when counting in sixes is 132. Now let's look at our second example. This time we've got number 174. 174. This time, we're not going to use the dot method. We're simply just going to add 6. We're counting in 6's, so we're just going to simply add 6. Start on the right-hand side, as always, the units. What is 4 plus 6? Well, you know that from your number bonds. 4 plus 6 is 10. Put 1 here and 0 here. Now we're adding the 10's. We've got 7 plus 0 plus 1. Don't forget the 1. It becomes 8. And the hundreds just remains 1. So the number after 174, if counting in sixes, is 180. Okay, to finish off with, we're going to look at a number sequence. So there is our number sequence. We start at number 150. There are, There is our first blank, second blank, and the third blank. And we've also got numbers 168 and 180. Now we've been told in the question that we're going to be counting in sixes. So let's start with our first... Uh, let's start on the left hand side. We've got 150 nice big arrow. We're counting in sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six dots. Our starting point is 150. So let's start counting. 151, 152, 153, 154, 155, and 156. So that's our first number, 156. Now how about the second one? I'm just going to erase this arrow at the bottom over here. And we're going to add, we're going to use addition for this one. So we're going to add 6. So let's start with the units. We're going to come to the same thing, we're still counting in 6's. Before we were using dots, now we're just going to add, use uh, addition for 6. So 6 plus 6 is, now doubles, you should know your doubles, 6 plus 6 is 12. Double 6 is 12, and we've got 1 here and 2 there. Now it's the tens, 5 plus, and don't forget the 1 here, 5 plus 1 is 6. And lastly, we've got the hundreds, 1 on its own. The answer is 162. 162. Okay, we've only got one blank space left. So let's change colors. And we're going to use addition for this one as well. So we've got number 168. Let's add 6. Start with the units 8 plus 6. 
what is 8 plus 6? Now again, from your mental arithmetic, you should know this off by heart by now. 8 plus 6 is 14. 14. Now we're going to do the tens. We've got 6 plus, and don't forget the 1, 6 plus 1 is 7. And lastly, the hundreds. The 1 remains 1. So the number is 174. So we have used two different methods to count in sixes with numbers up to 200. Now you have a practice.